Number one, cellophane paper. Number two, cell membrane. Number three, whisking tubing. So these three examples you need to remember because in some question for your exam, they won't tell you it's partially permeable membrane. They'll tell you that, oh, this membrane is cellophane paper. This membrane is cell membrane. This membrane is whisking tubing. Okay, for cell membrane, normally they will not tell you this is cell membrane. They will tell you that it's something that is alive. They will tell you that it is a potato cell. They will tell you it's a maybe onion cell. Okay, examples. Or they will tell you this is a red blood cell. You have to know that red blood cell, onion cells, potato cells, they are plant cells. Red blood cells are animal cells. Potato and onion are plant cells that contains cell membrane. So this will allow partially permeable membrane to exist and it will only allow small substances to pass through. It will allow osmosis to occur. Okay, so let's take a look at an example over here. Here we have whisking tubing. So in whisking tubing, Notice, they never tell you this is partially permeable. They will just tell you that it is whisking tubing. It is up to you to know that this is partially permeable. Okay? So concentrated sugar solution as opposed to distilled water. Okay, I would like my student know that the percentage, say, concentrated sugar solution possibly have a percentage of maybe 6% of sugar. 6% of sugar would mean that you have 94% of water. Distilled water, on the other hand, have 100% of water. So in that case, which one has higher water potential? Of course, this location has higher water potential because it's 100. Watt. While this one is 94. So you just move from 100 to 94. So this is the movement. So the movement of water occur from higher water potential here to lower water potential. Okay, can although sugar concentration here is six percent, but it doesn't really mean that sugar will move up. No, water will move in. Okay, because the water potential is ninety four percent. Okay, very easy. Here, let's take a look at the points here. Whisking tubing has small holes. Here, let's see. Whisking tubing has small holes. It only allows small molecules to pass through, but not larger ones like sugar. Okay, water can pass through, sugar cannot pass through. Okay, next is a complex sugar, like here. It's normally made out of 12 carbon atoms, 11 oxygen atoms, and 22 hydrogen atoms. Thus, it is bigger than water, which is made out of H2O. Okay? Please take note that simple sugar like glucose can pass through this um, partially permeable membrane. Okay? Complex sugar cannot. Complex sugar is too large. So the large one I will write here. Complex sugar cannot pass through. The small one are like water. Water can pass through. Okay, and then glucose, glucose can pass through. Okay, all types of simple sugar like fructose, galactose can pass through. Okay, on the other hand, sucrose or starch, all this cannot pass through. Okay, and then if you have a salt solution, salt is also too large to pass through. So these are all the examples. Okay. Other than this, we have iodine. Iodine can pass through. We have what we call ink. Ink can also pass through. Take note of that. Okay? Mm. Let's take a look at the next page. So here, this point here, they are trying to tell you water potential of the surrounding water is higher than that of the whisking tubing. Why? If you remember, I draw the whisking tubing. The water potential in the whisking tubing is 
The surrounding water is 100%. So the water potential moves from a region of higher to a region of lower water potential. Okay, so this is wire osmosis. The volume of the biskin tubing will increase because of the movement. Okay, here substances that can pass through partially permeable membrane, we have water, simple sugar such as glucose, fructose, galactose, aldine, color ink. Okay, substances that cannot pass through, starch, sucrose, maltose, protein. Okay, this all this cannot pass through, and then of course, remember salt. Sometimes they use salt solution. So you have to know that salt cannot pass through partially permeable membrane. It will effectively set up a osmotic gradient.